Hello dear children how are you all I hope you all are staying safe at home Okay good Children today we are going to start our lesson 5 our lesson 5 topic is caring for others caring for others What is caring Caring means helping others, sharing things with them, talking few lovable words. This all comes under caring. That means you care for others by doing such things. A caring person also makes others happy. That caring person must help others. and also do good things you have to do it happily and willingly caring for others is something we all can do a small thing whatever you can do that is the caring see for example now you all are at home your mother is doing such household jobs if you have if you help her whatever help she needs If you might help her what small help that will show that you are caring the, your mother likewise you have to do to other persons that shows that you are caring helping others shows that you are caring others okay children Rahul where are you bring me the first aid box our gardener is hurt coming father rahul and his father returned back after treating the gardener why father you could have asked him to go to the doctor why did you do the first aid rahul do not speak like that it's basic courtesy you know mother teresa yes heard of her but not in detail okay listen mother teresa was born on august 26 1910 in albania at the age of 12 she felt strongly the call of god she knew she had to be a missionary to spread the love christ at the age of 18 she left her parental home in skopje and joined the sisters of loreto an irish community of nuns with missions in india after a few months training in dublin she was sent to india on may 24 1931 from 1931 to 1948 mother teresa taught at st mary's high school in calcutta but in 1948 she decided to devote herself to work amongst the poorest of the poor in the slums of calcutta She started schools for slum children and took care of these persons who were rejected by their own relatives. Without any hesitation, she helped the poor and the diseased. She dedicated her whole life for the poor and never thought of her own life. I understand father I too will help the poor and needy to the extent I can That's good continue your studies go Now let's start our story Here we are having one story the girl who cut the girl who cut See In this story, this was a true story based on a true story. This story happened in our country, India, South India. You all know we are living in South India. There is a district called Belur, Belur district. You have been heard that See, this ha- this story happened in this district, Belur. See, the year was thousand nine hundred. in olden days you have 
heard that your grandparent or your parents also told that we had many diseases like cholera, typhoid, pneumonia, likewise. So it, uh, when this was happening in the uh, 900 year, this India's village were very poor and people were suffering with many diseases because then that olden days, uh, in that days and all, there were no hospitals. So there were not facilities, no doctors, there were only few doctors in uh, one country. In India, there will be only few doctors. Nowadays, we are having hospitals and nurses or doctors near our, in our community itself, isn't it? But in olden days, it was not like that. So many died, many people died because there were no hospitals. They, have, they, they didn't get proper treatment, they don't have any facilities in the hospitals. Doctors were also unavailable at the time. Likewise, many died. Young women died while giving birth to their babies. Children also died of different diseases. So the poor people had a hard life to live. Okay. At that time, a young girl, Ida Scudder, she lived in America, but she came to visit her father. His, her father was a doctor in Velour district. So she came to visit her father. While staying with their father, at that night, a man came and knocked on their door. And when she, this Ida Scudder opened the door, a man stood out and called her to help her. That, her, uh, that, mean, he, that man asked Ida, that, can you help me? My wife is going to have a baby, likewise he said. But that time, Ida was alone at home because Ida's father, he was a doctor. So he went to meet a very sick person very far away. And her mother also went along with her father. Ida was very young and she did not know what to do to help him. So the man went away because the man knew that by this young girl, nothing will happen. So he went away. A little later, another man also came and said the same thing to her. Likewise, the third man, three times this happened in the same night. But Ida felt a lot because she was so young and she cannot do anything. She was helpless. The next morning, Ida got to know that all the three women and their babies had died. The Three men came to call Ida. The three men's wife died because of the unavailable of facilities. So, this, uh, by hearing this, Ida was very upset. And she was very sad to hear this and she cared about the woman of his place. She also felt in mind that they were very poor and they had no one to help them. She wanted to help them in some way, but she was so young. She was thinking, how can I help them? What do they need the most like this? At that time, she comes to know that they needed the lady doctor. Because there were no lady doctor. That's why the woman died during the time of giving birth to their babies. Then she thought a while and she also th thought that there were only few lady doctors in India. In India, there were only few lady doctors. And she decided to go back to America and try to be a doctor. Then she returned to Vellore and she found that nothing had changed up to she completing her training, doctor training. There was still no lady doctor. And also women and children still died of diseases. By this pitiable situation, Ida decided to rent a small room in the town and opened a hospital for women and children. And she gave treatment for the people in the poor village.
okay today that small clinic has grown into a big hospital called the christian medical college and hospital it began with aida skadas desire to help poor people in need and actually do something about it so the side us kadar helped the poor people of that village and gave them hospital facilities okay children see the story the girl who cared the girl who cared The year was thousand nine hundred. India's villages were very poor, and people were suffering with many diseases. Many died as there were not many hospitals. Young women died while giving birth to their babies. Children died of different diseases. Life was hard for poor people. A young American girl, Ida Scudder. was visiting her father a doctor in a town called velur in south india one night a man came and knocked on their door my wife is going to have a baby he said i need a lady doctor can you help me ida was alone at home ida's father who was a doctor and her mother had gone to see another sick person very far away Ida was very young and did not know what to do to help him so the man went away A little later another man came and said the same thing to her This happened 3 times in the same night Next morning Ida got to know that all the three women and their babies had died because there were no doctors to help them through his difficult time Ida was very upset she cared about the women of this place they were very poor and had no one to help them she wanted to help them in some way how can i help them she thought what do they need the most what they needed the most was a lady doctor but where was she to find one there were very few lady doctors in india at that time She thought about it for a while. She decided to go back to America and try to be a doctor. Then she returned to Velur. Nothing had changed there. There was still no lady doctor. Women and children still died of diseases. Ida rented a small room in the town and opened a hospital for women and children. Today that small clinic has grown into a big hospital called the Christian Medical College and Hospital. It began with Ida Scudder's desire to help people in need and actually do something about it. The story is based on a true story. Okay children. Now let's understand caring for others is something we can all do. Look around and see what who needs your love and care then just to do what they need you to do we also have to find out what exactly they need sometimes they need make a kind of only a kind word at other times they might need us to do something for them or share something with them one caring act can lead to another Dr Ida Skadar came back to Velur to care the people there many years later other people also followed her example when we do something for others we must do it happily and willingly if everybody tries to do at least one caring act today the world will become a wonderful place to live in do you understand children yes a policeman cares for the town an ayah cares for children a zoo keeper cares animals a nurse cares people a gardener cares garden okay children this is your fifth lesson notes caring for others lesson 5 caring for 
others. First from letter choose the correct answer. First one. A dash person makes others happy. A dash person makes others happy. Caring. C-A-R-I-N-G. Caring. A. Caring. B. Selfish. C. Foolish. Second one. Dash around and see who needs your love and care. Look around and see who needs your love and care. Look. L-O-K. Look. Play. Look. Sleep. A. Play. B. Look. C. Sleep. Answer is look. L-O-K. Look. Third one. We also have to find out what exactly others dash. A. Cook. B. Eat. C. Need. Answer is need. A. Need. A. Need. We also have to find out what exactly others need. Fourth one. One caring act can dash to another. One caring act can dash to another. A. Side. B. Lead. C. Hide. One caring act can lead to another. Lead. A. Lead. Lead to another. Fifth one. If everybody tries to do at least one caring act a day, the dash will become a wonderful place. A. World. B. School. C. Home. Answer is world. W O R L D world. Second row letter filling the blanks. First one. A young American girl, Ida Scudder, was visiting her father, a doctor in a town called Dash. Vellur. Vellur. V E L L O R E. Vellur. Second one. A young woman died while giving Dash to their babies. Birth. B A R T H birth. Third one, the people needed the most was a dash doctor. Lady, L A D Y, lady, lady doctor. Th fourth one, I decided to go back to dash and train to be a doctor. America, America, A M E R I C A, America. Fifth one, I opened a dash for women and children. Hospital, H O S P A T A L, hospital. Third row matter match the following. First one, a policeman, town, an ayah, children, a zookeeper, animals, a nurse, sick people, a gardener, garden. Okay, children, this is your note. Study thoroughly today itself. You study this. Okay, children.